you were a member of the very first NTS class. I was. I, I, 50 years ago today, when the doors opened in this crummy building on Mountain Street, which I believe is the old Canadian Legion building and is now the Sullivan College, right. there was... I think there, there, there could have been maybe as few as 30 of us, half French and, and, um, and, and half English. And of course, we were excited, but, but it, we, we didn't know what, what was going to happen to us. There was so few of us. And sitting here after, of course, 50 years in the business, being part of a larger community of, 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 of actors, which is we are, who are, we are the most wonderful people in the world, as you can as you can see, as even the politicians he recognized, which was so great to hear how that they recognized how important we are. You know, we we we, we feel we feel so stupid and insignificant some of the time because they really want to do it without us but they just can't they can. <laughs> you know and here are many of us still working 50. I mean I've been a professional actor for my whole life since I was a teenager and I'm now a grandfather which is I find extraordinary and something that I'm just totally proud of so, and um, Martha Henry was another one? Martha was in the first year, Diana. Um, Peter Cullen is still working in California, I believe. Um, that's quite a large percentage. At least four of the That's four working. out of 15. That's, that's, that's a quarter. That's 25% of the class is still, is still actually working uh, of, that, of, that, um, of that first class. Never mind the percentage of, of actors who can make a living for 50 years in the world. There's, there's hardly, there's, there's so few of us. And you were based in New York, and tell us a little what you do now. I moved to New York in the uh, middle 60s. Every few years or so, there's a, there's a kind of an emigration of a group of people who, um, who just feel they have to leave. And in 1965, I'd been offered a uh, a, a, a not very good contract at Stratford after having worked with the Canadian players and, and the Manitoba Theatre Centre and they, off they, 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 they offered me a not very good job uh, for ten dollars less than I was already earning in Winnipeg and I asked for ten dollars more than I was earning at Winnipeg which was a twenty dollar a week difference which which they refused and I left the country. <laughs> That was the last straw. Not, not. It wasn't the last straw, but was, who knew? I always thought, well, Paul, you can always come back again if it fails. But it didn't. 